progress since he took office in 2020. But Northern District Public Service Commissioner and former Middleton Mayor Brandon Presley seeks to flip the governor's mansion blue for the first time in two decades, promising to clean up corruption in state government and expand Medicaid as rural hospitals across the state struggle to stay open. Tonight, the candidates answer your questions as they vie for your vote in Tuesday's general election, moderated by 16 only way PTs Troy Johnson and Megan West, in partnership with Mississippi Public Broadcasting. This is Commitment 2023. And before we introduce our candidates, let's go over the rules for tonight's debate. And the questions we're posing tonight come directly from you, our viewers, over the last few weeks. So tonight, you'll hear the candidates answer your questions for the next hour. Each candidate will have 60 seconds to answer. That's right. And once that time runs out, they'll be allowed to finish their thought before stopping. If a candidate does not respect the time cues, his microphone will be cut. If either candidate mentions his opponent during his answer, his opponent will have 30 seconds for rebuttal before we move on to the question. At the end of the debate tonight, each candidate will have two minutes for his closing statement. The order in which the candidates answer the first question and give their closing statement will be decided by a coin flip. revolved around this topic is Medicaid expansion. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, in 2022, Mississippi had one of the highest percentages of people without health insurance coverage in the country. Governor, 40 states have expanded their Medicaid programs. Mississippi has not. Where do you stand on the expansion of Medicaid in Mississippi? Well, thank you, Troy and Megan, and thanks to WAPT for hosting this debate. Uh, and most of all, thanks to the people of the great state of Mississippi for the privilege and the trust that you have placed in me to serve as Mississippi's 65th governor. It has been the honor of my professional life. Medicaid expansion is a topic that has been discussed often in the state. In fact, it's probably the topic that my team and I have worked on more than anything else. And at the end of the day, what we have determined is it does not make sense for the people of Mississippi. It does not make sense for the people of Mississippi because if you were to add 300,000 people to the Medicaid rolls, about 100,000 of those individuals would actually be currently on private insurance.